Welcome to the Dose of Leadership channel. This morning, I'm sitting here in Austin, Texas. I got a couple hours before I got to go head out and finish my three day sequence for flying. But before I do that, I want to talk to you this morning about charisma. Um, a lot of people, when they look at leadership, they think I have to be this charismatic figure to be a great leader. Now, don't get me wrong, charisma can be a good thing. But I think a lot of times we confuse thinking charisma equals leadership. And I'm here to tell you that charisma does not equal leadership or the type of leadership that we're talking about here on this channel, right? I mean, I think a lot of times people don't look at themselves as leaders because they might be an introvert or they don't have these charismatic qualities or this magnetic charm or appeal, right? Like you walk into a room and people are instantly attracted to you and like, I'm going to follow that person through the gates of hell. And that's the, the danger with charisma because a lot of times when people want to become great leaders, they want to lead these significant lives, they think, I can't do this because I'm not charismatic. And so we spend a lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of resources, dare I even say we waste a lot of time, energy, and resources trying to fix our charismatic appeal. And to me, that doesn't reek of authenticity, and I think that's where we miss the boat. You know, when I got off um, 25 years ago, I got off uh, the, the bus at Officer Candidate School for the Marine Corps. I'll never forget the drill instructors yelling at my face as I'm walking on the parade deck, and he's telling me, boy, why do you think you can be a great leader in this Marine Corps? Look at you. You have no command presence. And I heard that word command presence, and presence is such a heavy word, right? And so when I thought about the word presence and command presence or leadership presence for this, this case, I was thinking, yeah, I got to be this larger than life character, right? I've got to be like John Wayne. I've got to walk into the room with this magnetic charm, this, you know, six foot four square jaw, booming voice, and have people follow me through the gates of hell. Well, the reality is, you know, I'm 5'9". When I went to officer candidate school, I was 130 pounds, barely. I don't have a square jaw. I am who I am. I'm the way that God made me. And on top of that, my leadership personality style, the one I'm most comfortable with, is not an extrovert. I'm not a type A. I'm an introvert. And for the longest time, I was thinking, well, being an introvert means I cannot be a great leader. That's not true. And that's where people miss the boat. Because to me, leadership is less about being charismatic, right? And it's more about being what I call the four C's. I talk about this all the time. I think the foundation of leadership are based on four fundamental, what I call C's. And the first one is being composed. The second one is being confident. The third one is being consistent. And the fourth one is being courageous. Composed, confident, consistent, and courageous. Those are the foundations, I think, to great leadership. Notice I left out the fifth one, charismatic. Now, I'm not saying that you don't work on your charisma, but I'm saying you don't focus your energy on that because I'm honestly convinced that if you spend the rest of your life focusing on what it takes every single day, and this takes commitment and effort, if you focus on what it takes to be composed, confident, consistent, courageous, and the, the beautiful thing is every one of us, no matter what God has gifted us from a charismatic personality looks, we can focus on improvement in one of those four areas. Every single one of us, no matter what our leadership personality is, whether you're an extrovert or whether you're an introvert or somewhere in between, you can focus on being composed, confident, consistent, and courageous and improve your leadership ability. And the beautiful thing is, is if you do do that, a natural, authentic charisma is going to come forth. I can't tell you how many times that I've seen people try to portray what they think a leader should be and you know, exuding all this false motivation, walking around, trying to be somebody that they're not, and that's where they miss it. Charisma, I think, is a little bit more God-given. I really do feel that. I mean, I think you can, you can always improve how you present yourself, how you can improve your ability to meet people, how to always stretch yourself and push yourself out of your comfort zone. You don't have to necessarily settle where you're at is what I'm saying. Your personality can improve. But at the foundation, the core of a great leadership has to have some meat to it, some substance. And to have that meat, to have that substance, you've got to focus on being composed, confident, consistent, and courageous in every aspect of your life. You do that, you focus on that, you focus on self-awareness, you focus on those four, and natural, authentic charisma will come forth. Don't waste your time on personality traits and trying to be somebody that not. Take off those masks because the currency that's needed in leadership today is authenticity and transparency. Authenticity, transparency, and being a little bit vulnerable, being a lot vulnerable actually, will break down barriers, will break down doors, and let you become the leader that you were called to be. Authenticity, transparency, learning how to be those four C's. Compose, confident, consistent, and courageous. Don't worry about the charisma so much. It will come if you focus on those four things. 
Let me know what you think about this lesson, a lot about this video. I'm adding more as we go. I know it's, there's not a lot at the beginning right here, but we're going to add more videos as we go on. Subscribe to this channel. Reach out to me on doseofleadership.com. Listen to my podcast. Uh, the podcast has been going there for four years, almost 300 interviews with today's top thought leaders and my thoughts on leadership. And reach out to me on Facebook. Find out all the links, and I look forward to uh, seeing you in the next video. Thanks, guys.